Hello friends. Now we are going to talk in this session about the water connection, the main water connection to your home. Now as you can see I am walking through my driveway and this is where the main water connection to my home is. Uh, majority of times when there is a hard freeze where the temperature falls below freezing and when the temperature is below freezing and uh, it's around 25 Fahrenheit so if the temperature stays below freezing and between 25 Fahrenheit for more than four hours that is a hard freeze now in order to prevent further damage of pipes onto your home the main thing that we've got to do is shut off the connection of the water to your home now before we do that make sure all your pipes are open make sure all your taps are open faucets are open so that existing water that is in the pipeline will drain out now before yeah that's the first thing need to be done and then you walk in to this main water connection and now I'm as you can see I'm going to take off the connection take off this cover yeah and here is the here is the main pipe so as you can see this is the connection this one this is the connection and you can't turn this by hand but this when this pipe but this is the pipe and this is the, the valve so here when this is in line with the pipe that means the water is on the water is on now if you have to turn this now in order to turn this you need to buy an equipment where you you can turn this by you can't turn this by hand but you have to turn this using that equipment or you could also use a plier which I did I don't have this equipment at home but I use the plier to turn this to 90 degrees and that's how the water connection will be shut off to your home so that's the first part of the process and once this is done once this process is done you can shut off the connection you can shut off this put the cover back and then the next process is hello friends as you know that we shut off the outside main water connection to the home and now I have walked up to my attic where my water heaters are so here I have got two water heaters and uh, and they are from Rheem company so in here once the outside water is shut off here you have to come upstairs and uh, make sure that the heaters are set to vacation mode now vacation mode is a popular term uh, but it also means that you could turn this on to a pilot mode now a way of doing that is I could just turn this around and now this is in pilot mode because you'll see this red arrow which points to what it should be so that's the pilot mode that you have to switch it on and as a result what will happen is that the heating is not going to happen when the water is in there but it is not switched off now if you're going on vacation for a long time three to four weeks or more than that then it's okay to switch this on to off mode so that when you come back and then you can start on so that's the benefit of doing this I'm going to switch this back to on to low heating mode which has been my standard setting so this is what you got to do once you switch off the mains the main water connection and when you go back and when once the freeze is done and everything is done temperature is back to normal you can go back and start the water connection and then you have to come upstairs and set this back to what it was so please make sure you do this so that way it helps prevent damage of your water heaters at your home now the same process I'm going to f I followed it on this side as well uh, now you might have one water heater or you might have two water heaters depending on what your what your home size is but uh, make sure you follow this process hi friends now that the temperature is back in the 40s now it is safe to open up this cover and start the water connection now as you can see I have already started the water connection so using that wrench and now you can see this is the pipe and then this is the the valve 
so now they are in line so the water connection is on now make sure now you have to make sure that you do not start this at full capacity this has to run at 50% capacity to begin with and then you can turn it on to 100% after 10 to 15 minutes and that's because the air that is trapped inside your pipes has to go out along with the water so make sure that your outdoor outdoor pipes outdoor faucets and indoor home faucets are on and they should be on at 50% capacity so once you do that and then when it runs for 10 to 15 minutes when the water starts to flow and runs for 10 to 15 minutes then you can come back and turn it on to full capacity